What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we beat the game and we got the bad ending. And in this episode, this bonus episode, I'm going to show six things. First of all, I'm going to show how to not kill Sybil. And I'm going to show the Dr. Kaufman side quest. And then I'm going to show four different endings that we did not get. One of which is called the bad plus ending, one of which is called the good ending, one of which is called the good plus ending, and the last is the UFO ending. How I'm going to be doing this is attempting to replay from old save files and see where I can go from there. I haven't done these things prior to this episode. I've just read a little bit on how to do them. I don't know what they are, what the endings are, what the cutscenes are at the end of these things. Um, so it is still blind in that regard. Uh, but yeah, there's there's hopefully quite a bit to see. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to figure out how to do these things. But I hope you guys are excited to see everything that is in store. If you want to see more, then, then what I'm offering in this video, I know that there are some secret weapons and stuff that you can also get, but I'm just not at a point where I'm wanting to play through the game multiple times to, you know, go through hard mode and all that stuff. Although I know the game can be completed very quickly. I think what I'm going to have to do is, I don't even remember. Was I going up or down here? Let me let me try real quick, just going up the ladder and seeing if this takes me to the resort area or if this is... Is this the end of the sewer segment before the resort area or is this the beginning and I still need to go through the sewers? I just want to see because it's been so long. Okay, so luckily um, I think we just entered the resort area which is where we need to go. Let me grab the map again. It's so funny going back to this after having beaten the game already now. Okay, so we're in the resort area. Now, personally, I don't know what would have triggered or like tipped me off to visit this particular place. But what we need to do is visit a specific location. And I don't know, maybe there was something earlier in the game that would let me know that I needed to go to this particular location. But where we need to go is Annie's Bar which should be coming up on our left. So let me go to the left side of the road. Oh, hello there. Um, is it up here? This is Annie's Bar. All right, so we're gonna go into Annie's Bar, and if I recall correctly, we're treated to a cutscene. And that is Dr. Kaufman with a, uh, with a zombie on him. Harry has the best aim of his life, gets a headshot, gets a one-shot kill, which hasn't happened in the entire game up until this point. Dr. Kaufman, for good measure, gets a, gets a good you okay? kick in there. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I Only mean, just barely, I you know, survived. Honor there. So how'd it go? Did you find a way out? No, not yet. Yeah, we're working on it, Dr. Kaufman. How about you? <laughs> Zip. <laughs> But it's too soon to give up. This craziness can't go on forever. You're acting like you don't know what's going rescue on. rescue squad should be here any time now. If they come through the town, we're home free. Hmm. I hope so. I better get going. This isn't the time to stand around flapping our gums. <laughs> Hardly been chatting for like ten seconds, you know and we just saved myself? your life. No. Hmm. Suspicious. From our perspective, he definitely should know such a girl. So now, the next thing is, I think this is on... Is this what it is? On the floor? I believe he should have dropped something. So let's take a look around real quick and see what we can find. I mean, I haven't been in this building before, so I haven't really explored it. I wouldn't be surprised if there was more ammo. Hmm. Under the zombie, or what's this? Kaufman must have dropped this. Looks like it's full of stuff. I've got a Kaufman key. Okay, and I've got a receipt. So if we look at this receipt, let's take a look. Receipt from General Store, thought to have been dropped by Kaufman. It says 0473 on it. And it's from the General Store. 
So if I recall correctly, I think we need to go to the general store and the it should be locked. And I think we have to input a code of 0473. Is there anything else to look, you know, inspect while we're here? Whoa, camera, please. Doesn't really look like it. <clears throat> so we'll head back on out. This is something I actually tried to load my next save file afterwards where I had already gotten to the boat and there's like the cutscene with Dahlia and um, Sybil right after this, but it actually doesn't work. Um, they, they block off Sanford Street in that case. So let me check real quick. Um, we need to go to the Indian Runner store, which is the name of the store that I think was on the receipt itself and would make sense given it's the general store. So we're going to go right and go around Craig Street. This is something we didn't explore before. So I guess um, I guess this will be new for everyone involved. Is this too quick of a, of a right turn or are we still going to make our way there? Oh, we'll see how far we get, right? Got some more enemies. At least at this point, I don't need to be concerned about saving ammo or anything like that. Wow, it's crazy that all of the big events involving, you know, or that'll alter the ending you get are so close to the end. It's actually relatively convenient. Whoa, that, it, 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 like, it like missed. All right, let's see here. So there's a lock on here. I think it was 0437. Is that it? Nope, doesn't look like it. We're getting chomped on while we're uh, looking through this receipt though. It was 0473, gotcha. Guys, get, come on, I'm just, I'm just trying to do a bonus episode. I've already beaten the game. <laughs> I've already beaten the game. Okay, let's switch this up. There we go. And we get attacked in the middle of the cutscene. Oh, I thought it was a cutscene because the camera was changing, but nope. So we have entered the general store. Luckily, it doesn't sound like there are enemies in here. Let's um, let's take a look. Is there anything else of interest? Looks like it's been ransacked. There's maybe some ammo back here. Or is this ammo? Rifle shells. Okay, it is. Anything else? Um, what? Ooh, what's here? There's a health drink, too. So it's good to know that there are even more health items that and ammo that we missed, um, which would be, well, <laughs> helpful for, for most players, I'd imagine. August 20th, he came by. I handed over the package that the woman left here, September 12th. He showed up at Norman's, too. Don't want to be involved with the likes of them anymore, but I'm getting creeped out even more than before. Thought of leaving town, but I'm afraid of what will happen if I do. Was this from the perspective of the general store owner or the... Uh, or Dr. Kaufman. Three loaves of bread, three cartons of milk, two dozen eggs. Deliver to back door daily, 8 a.m. Rear entrance code is 0886. Rear entrance code is 0886. That's probably going to be important. Um, is there anything else to pick up in here? I feel like we haven't really walked away with too much that's concrete. And I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be able to find something in here. We obviously found the diary. Let me check real quick, again, uh, the beauty of, of guides. I mean, this is something, it's just a matter of, hmm, saving time, I guess. Otherwise, rather than just like, hmm, wandering around. So inside, I'm supposed to find a safe key. So where, where is this key that I'm looking for, apparently? Did I not see it? Is it in, like, the cash register? Is there something else? Let's see if there's anything in the cash register, maybe. Nope, that's just the, the diary, or the journal. Where else can I find the key? These are the instructions. Rear entrance code is 0886. Are they maybe in here? Do you want, there's a drawer. Do you want to open it? Yes. Here is where we're going to find it. We have found the key. Da, 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 da. The safe key. So naturally we'll use it on the, uh, oh my going to have, I'm really going to have to go to the menu and click safe key. <clears throat> 
What are we going to find inside? What is this? Drugs? Interesting. So some sort of drug delivery stuff is going on. Can we take them? No? Okay. So now what do we do with this? Well, we found the drugs and apparently there's some sort of delivery going on. So I guess our next step is to go to... Um, is go to the motel where the delivery is being sent to and try to get in there. Let's give it a go. So we'll head on out and check the map, of course. We're going to be swarmed by enemies yet again. Okay, and where is the motel? Okay, so if we go to the left, our left, that is. Can we, guys, guys, I'm just trying to do a bonus episode. It's just a bonus episode, please. <laughs> just trying to show off some cool stuff in the game. Okay, right, we are in route to the motel. Wow, it took, took quite a minute there for the, uh, the map to open up. Okay, so it'll be on our right. And again, we're trying to use the rear entrance here. So I believe this is the motel, right? We should be right in front of it. Okay, this is it. So let's try to go around and find the rear entrance. We've got plenty of friends. Huh? Where are we? Is this is this the rear entrance or what? We like turned into a location and is this the rear entrance? No. Are these the different motels? Maybe? I think this is the, these are the different motel rooms given the numbers next to them. Is there like a central office I can go into? <laughs> this is confusing. Back here maybe? This is just a garage. So it looks like that was a parking lot entrance, or like an entrance to the different rooms of the motel. So we're gonna want to go even further this way to go around back maybe? I don't know. Get out of my way, zombies, please. But this looks to be going way too far around. Stop jumping on me, guys. Stop jumping on me. Is this the back entrance? Or is this just a totally different place? I don't know. We're gonna mash. Oh, turning off the light was not the right idea. Guys, 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 guys. This is really annoying. If you can't tell already. Um, is this the back entrance? Guys, stop mauling me! And there are like three of them. I don't want to spend all the time to try and knock each of them out. The lock is jammed. The door won't open. And that thing's going to jump on me in just a second. So, we can keep on running. Keep on trying to get around, I guess. If I die, that will not be good. Because then I'll have to redo parts of this. So we'll use another health drink just to be safe. And keep trying to go around back. Am I am I even going the right direction here? Am I did I run into something? What stopped me? What let them catch up to me? Am I pinned? Okay, good. I'm not pinned. Is this going to be the rear entrance? <laughs> if it wasn't apparent that I'm doing this pretty blind. Here's your here's your evidence. So we just walked around the entirety of the inn. So we've got to find, is this maybe the rear entrance? Like there was a different initial like main entrance? Because Swoopy Swipers, all these guys, they're, they are everywhere. Where is the rear entrance? Is this it? I have no idea. I have no idea. And we're like going to die. So I'm going to take a second to look up where this rear entrance is so I'm not wandering around in circles forever. Okay, guys, so I have taken a look at 
another guide with a little bit more of a visual, and it turns out that I need to be very specific about avoiding the swoopy swiper, and actually, come on guys, I'm like right there. Can you please just leave me alone? Please, 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 please. Oh my goodness. Get off of me. Swoopy swipers, these things, whatever they are, please just leave me alone. There's a number pad next to the door, and that is what I needed to interact with, not the door. I needed to use the number pad. Let me into this building and out of this nightmare. <laughs> wow, okay, so we've made it into the motel. There's a newspaper, it's the same date as the one in the hospital. Investigation stalled, PTV dealers still at large, PTV. Suspicious deaths continue. Like the anti-drug mayor, a narcotics officer dies of a sudden heart failure of unknown origin. Hmm, hmm, sounds suspicious to me. Okay, what else do we have going on here on the couch, maybe? There's a magnet, okay. This looks like a poster is on the wall. Don't look at that now, though. <laughs> it looks like the type of poster that would be on the wall of a, uh, of a drug-related building. Okay, newspaper again. Is that all we're going to find on here? I don't know. We'll take a look, I guess. There's a radio on top of the cabinet. It's completely dead. Maybe it's broken. Is there anything else of interest in here? There's a save pad. There are two of them, maybe. Nothing special. What's this? There's a guest register. Nothing special here. Anything else of interest in here? Vending machine. It's not working though. That's where I came in, right? No, it's not actually. This is a different room. But the lock is jammed. What's on this desk? September 10th, took package, told to sit on it a while. Don't want to get involved, but can't disobey. He's probably linked to the death of the mayor and others. Oof, that doesn't sound too good. Is there anything else we can do? Where maybe you have to find the package? The power must be out, it doesn't work. Um there's the newspaper. I feel like the package is something on this table, but we're just getting clips about the newspaper. Which door did I come in from? I think that one. Was it this one? Oh, I think it was the one I just went through. Turn around, go right back in. Okay, let's try this door. Whoa. What's going on in this place? Could use a little bit of upkeep. Shotgun shells. I mean, not like we really need them at this point. And a health drink. What's this on the ground here? Come on, Harry, walk around. Thank you. Is this something I can interact with? I guess not. Anything in here? No? An old motorcycle, looks like it's been sitting here for years. That's weird. The dust is wiped away just around the gas tank cap. Huh. Can we, can we use it? <laughs> um, can we take a look at the gas tank cap or what? No, maybe not, I don't know. Batteries, oil cans, and other items line the shelves. A fine layer of dust covers everything as it's long abandoned. Am I supposed to, like, walk by a very specific part of the motorcycle and interact with it? I don't... I don't know. I'm going to check this guide real quick just to make sure I don't do anything incorrect. Okay. So, I guess we'll be coming back to the motorcycle at some point to inspect it more. I guess what we'll do for now is go around here and unlock the main door so that we're in like the courtyard. And then supposedly, well, actually probably something I would have done earlier and should have done is inspect the, the Kaufman key. So it has the number three on it, which means that Kaufman's motel is probably the one labeled three. It's not too much of a stretch there. So let's head on in. 
Knock, knock, coming in. Okay, anything of interest in here? Anything in the drawers? This table, maybe? No, maybe on that table over there. There's probably, it's probably in the other room. Okay, yeah, we can't get over there, so let's go to this other room. What is this? Health drink, oh. Okay, I'm sure that's not the only thing in here. <laughs> Right? Right? There's got to be something more. No, nobody inside. I feel like I'm at that point in like a point and click adventure game where you just like start with doing all of the item combinations or just like hitting X everywhere. Right? I don't know. Maybe like behind here. Can I like push this or something? Do you want to push the shelf? There we go. Okay, so what do we find under here? There's a crack. Something glints inside. The crack is too small to reach in. Gotcha. So this is why we have the magnet. And we got the motorcycle key. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory where we need to go at this point, right? Okay. So what we'll do is head back into the office and into the garage. Is it Kaufman's motorcycle or is it the motel owner's motorcycle that he's just taking advantage of because he knows it sits in the garage? It'd be a real shame if the uh, the owners tried to use it and then all of a sudden, you know, there was a, well, a key in there or something, whatever is in the, the gas tank. Wait, that's the wrong button. That's the map. I've done that so many times throughout this playthrough. Can we use the motorcycle key? All right, we can. And so what's gonna happen? A small glass vial wrapped in a plastic bag. What's this? It's like the busted vial I found in the director's office at the hospital. Interesting. So we found this medicine potentially and whoa. Give me that. Dr. Kaufman's not so happy about us finding it. Rather aggressively That's takes it back. Instead of messing with that, how about coming up with a way to get out of here? <laughs> how about you, Dr. Kaufman? What are you up to? You shouldn't be hanging around here goofing off. What do you think you're doing? You want to get yourself killed? Get out of here. Wow. Is that a threat, okay. Dr. Kaufman? Is that a threat? Unless you want to die, keep your mind on business. Whoa. Got it? Unless you want to die. Dr. Kaufman is not the most likable er, um, person we've interacted with. That guy's got to be involved in a local drug racket. Man, was he pissed. And in such a rush, too. That's probably dope in the bottle. Anyway, better let him do as he pleases. There's more than my life at stake. I guess I wasted my time. Better hurry. I'm worried about Cheryl. Okay. So that is the completion of the... The Kaufman side quest. So if you do this... Um, just this, you get what's called the good ending. And if you do this plus one of the other, actually, you know what I should do is I should go back in there and save. If we do this and the save Sybil thing, we get the good plus ending. So the next thing I'm going to show is the encounter with Sybil, which should be happening very soon. So actually, realistically, I'll just do my my editing magic to make sure that you guys don't have to wait forever while I get through that and can just see when I'm actually at the merry-go-round. So I'll see you guys then. All right, now I gotta try to find the, uh, what's it called? The merry-go-round again. I remember that was such a struggle for me last time. I got these guys running around after me too. Can you, can you not right now? Just to make sure I'm not at like super low health and die and have to start part of this over again. Just want to check on my health there. Okay. So there's a merry-go-round. That's progress. I don't remember that music too well, but that's pretty creepy. Good stuff. Silent Hill, good stuff. So I think I went over this way, and there's like an attraction booth or whatever that we can actually walk upstairs to. I think it's right here. Yes, this is it. I'm pretty sure. Is this it? 
I don't remember exploring this area actually. So this might not be it. But I could have sworn I walked upstairs like this. But this is definitely not the the carousel. It's the Ferris wheel. Interesting. Well, I guess there's a little preview of what the the Ferris wheel looks like in this game. And we'll head somewhere else. Because I'm just as lost as I was the first time. Great. Is this it? I remember this was close to it. Right? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, guys. One of those things again? There's this guy. I know I just was exploring around here. I'm running in circles, guys. Is this it? This is it. Right? Oh wait, no! I just did the same thing! Where is this carousel? We'll try over here again. Nope, that's the ferris wheel still. This is still gonna be the ferris wheel. Oh boy. Just as lost this time. If not more lost. I feel like it's taking me even longer. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, the civil battle. Alright, so let's see. I don't think the cutscene leading up to it is going to be any different. We can take a look again just to be safe, or just for context, to freshen our memories a bit. Civil doesn't seem to be doing so hot. She's in a wheelchair. Makes me feel like she was injected with some drug to turn into a zombie or something like that. Okay. Harry's not happy. And this time around, instead of just tanking hits for a while and smashing her with a shotgun, we are going to uh, heal up real quick so we don't die, because we're presumably at lower health. And we're going to walk up and use the unknown liquid. <laughs> Get smacked. Can't use it here. Is it because I'm in the middle of like an animation or something? Huh? How about now? <laughs> okay, Silent Hill, okay. What was that toss? Harry just like opens it and just like whoosh, Like sprays it all over sort of. Hoping for the best. What happens? Is she like steaming? Or oh it's like a parasite of some sort that had taken over her. <laughs> Harry gives it a good one-two stomp. Wake up. Snap out of it. Sybil. Harry. What happened? Interesting. So I wonder, like, how long it takes to turn into an actual zombie. At what point is a person no longer salvageable from Harry, all of this? Why did they take your daughter? Oh, did they take her? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. Oh, really now? I actually haven't told her yet. It's pretty important. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Huh? Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... You found her on the side of the road? There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? <laughs> Good question, Sybil. Good question. Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. Hmm. Determined. Respectful. Or respectable. So, what's interesting to me is that it sounds like that was referring to the scene from the very beginning of the game, right? Like where Harry is driving with Cheryl and then Alessa is seen off on the side of the road and then they crash. I figured you'd show. Hold it right there. 
I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. <laughs> Harry, tell her off. Just one thing. I think this is the same as last time. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. Little do we know we're actually talking to Cheryl, I guess. What? But Alessa slash Cheryl has superpowers. Super secret dark powers. And then is this the Floros? This? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm still not 100% sure how much that cutscene reveals, right? Obviously, now we know that Cheryl was adopted, so isn't biologically related. Could very well be Dahlia's daughter. Is there some sort of, like, separation that went on so that there was, like, half of her living within the... the that hallway being kept alive while dreaming and there was another half of her that was alive elsewhere and We're now they've been sure. like reunited or like Give one was in the dark down. world one was in the real world i don't know i don't know but we'll meet at last or less honestly this might be a nice little refresher Dalia Gillespie? where's cheryl where is she Alessa. hmm this is the end of your little game. What's interesting is that she says, like, it's your little game, right? Like, Alessa is trying to control all of these things, right? Could she be... Like, Dahlia lost You're control of her, right? You're little pest, haven't you, Alessa? Hmm. I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape Regardless. From spell. Oh, from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. Was the spell maybe referring to whatever was keeping That's her bedridden for so long? All, by all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna cut this off now. <laughs> so, that's the Sybil ending, um, or the Sybil event. If you save her and do everything else normal, you get the bad plus ending. But then, like I mentioned earlier, if you do the if you save Sybil, and then also do the Kaufman side quest, then you get the the good plus ending. Lisa is looking a little off. I remember that. And now, we've got so many cutscenes. Now what we've got going on is, we're in nowhere, but I'm gonna show you the four, or the three different main endings and then one kind of little bonus ending. So the first ending will be the bad plus ending. That's what happens if you save Sybil, but don't do the Kaufman side quest. So I'll see you guys with that in just a moment. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. What? The... In spite of the lost soul returning what? at last. The lost soul the returning at last. And all would have been for naught. It's all because of that man. We must be thankful to him. Is she talking about us? Even though Alessa has been stopped. His little girl has to go. What a pity. <laughs> yeah, she's totally talking about us, and then the little girl has to be Cheryl, right? Freeze! <laughs> Sybil's around to actually help out this time around. Devil's name? <sighs> Still not that helpful, though. <laughs> well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What do you Let's see what's different. You've seen her many times restored to her former self. Restored to her former self. Interesting. No mood for jokes. Don't you see? She's right there. What's interesting though is in the initial crash it shows Alessa stepping on the street while Cheryl is sitting in the car. That's absurd. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of, like, separation and then reunion of Cheryl and Alessa. Like, Alessa in the town, Cheryl outside the town. Via some black magic or something like that. For the seven years since that terrible day, Alessa has been kept alive, suffering a fate worse than death. In an endless nightmare from which she never awakens. Is it like being trapped in the dark reality? By that 
Who is he? Some sort of demon or something like that? Some sort of like black magic demon Dahlia's been trying to summon in her lunacy? I think so. The time is now. Everyone will be released. Well, at least we got to see Sybil try to help out. We got to see Dahlia talk to Sybil a little bit, indicate that part of this happening is our fault. Potentially using the Floros on Alessa to help her be captured so that this could happen here. Uh, potentially by bringing Cheryl back to Silent Hill. Which, like, maybe triggered all these events. We'll see if Harry still dies at the end, and in this ending, or if that was just like the bad ending thing. Or is that like consistent across all of the endings? Because if so, then you got to question, you know, why does it even matter? If this is all something maybe happening in Harry's head? Like a death rattle type of thing? Or is this even happening in some alternate parallel universe? Or we'll, we'll see, is that a poltergeist or something? I don't know. Either way... It very much seems like we're going to have to shoot Cheryl slash Alessa down. At least now we know the strategy is to just shoot a bunch and then heal when we need to. I don't think Sybil... Sybil! If we had someone else to help shoot, that would be appreciated. Yeah, this will probably go by a lot more quickly if we can uh, do that. So you'll notice that my numbers are a little bit different. That's because what I actually ended up doing was um, downloading a save right before the final boss that has the different requirements in that, rather than play through the remainder of the game over and over, because this video is already taking up enough time as is to go through everything, and I don't want to uh, waste more of my night. But I did go through the individual, I don't know, events for Sybil and Dr. Kaufman, and now I want to see the respective endings, and hopefully piece together more of the, the story. Wow. She is just tanking hits. Let's see if the ending is any different this time around. I mean, it should be, right? But let's see. We already saw some differences with Sybil ahead of time. Daddy. We saw some differences in the conversation. Cheryl! Thank you, Daddy. Goodbye. That's the same. Still very sad. Now, let's see if the ending scenes are different. Cheryl? Cheryl still dies. I wonder if that's something that can change. Right? Like, what if we have Dr. Kaufman with the liquid and Sybil for, I don't know, backup cheerleading or something? If we're able to save Cheryl. Alessa slash Cheryl at all? Like, in any of the endings? I don't know. Is the music different? It kind of sounds like it is. Hmm. Either way, I guess... I guess we can wait and see, <laughs> right? That's all we can do. Yeah, I swear this music is different. Or maybe it's just not at the part that I recognize the best. When do we get to the part where there are all the pictures and everything? Is that like the video that comes after the credits? If so, I think I'll just skip ahead of the credits and everything. So I'll just do a quick little edit to what is relevant to the ending. Alright, here we go. Sybil wakes up, the place is blowing up, fire is raining down. She's limping, she's walking kind of weird. Harry's there. Is she gonna save Harry? Harry. Oh, slap to the face. Go. Go where? Whoa. 
the big perspective. There's some like demonic circle going on and it's raining fire still as things black out. Are we going to be shown Harry dead? This looks to be the same sequence potentially. Lisa and Dr. Kaufman. They're just going to do this sort of like family, I don't know, what, what do they call it, like full house type introduction where it's like they play the song and they show the close-ups of all the characters and then freeze frame and introduce their names. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll skip ahead to the end of this. Okay, so here are the, the game results. Obviously, I, like I said, this was not my file, but you can see this is the bad plus ending. And is that really all there was to it? I mean, I guess we'll save <laughs> in a new save. You can see, you know, that's that's what there was. Are we going to get an extra scene here at the end? No. So the bad ending shows Harry having died in the crash. This one shows Sybil saying go and the rain of fire and everything. But that's that's about all. So, okay, not a whole lot new, but, you know, something. Next up will be the good ending. All right, time for the good ending. This is where we did not save Sybil, but we did do the Dr. Kaufman side quest. Let's see how things are different this time around. Dahlia. Well, well, well. To think you'd make it this far. This seems to be the same so far. Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? What are you talking about? You've seen her plenty of times. <laughs> Maybe it'll only be different after this battle. No mood for jokes. I think... Don't you see? Because that's what it seems like, I'll probably skip ahead for your guys' time at least. Maybe not mine, but for your guys' sake. Till when things are actually different. Huh? This is different. Dolly was just shot. And in comes Dr. Kaufman with a gun. Return things to how they were before. Kaufman! <laughs> you wanted her to do something, so you shot her. Nobody Ooh. uses me. Nobody uses me. Oof. You got caught up in Dahlia's scheme. Your work is over. We don't need you anymore. Oof. Expendable, Dr. Kaufman. By coming here. My, aren't we getting cocky? <laughs> Dr. Kaufman sounds so full of himself. What? A Glaufatus? What is that? Ha, you're easy. And there's more where this came from. Is that like the medication or something? Is that gonna stop her? It looks like the red liquid. Is that oh that's what we found in the bike! Throws it at Alessa, Alessa Cheryl. Super slow motion. Like, really slow motion. Still not there. Still not there. And bam. Hits Alessa. Is that going to, like, destroy her powers? Is it going to save her from some parasite that was what eating away at her? Or... What is going on? Whoa. So there was some super powerful parasite? Potentially... Holy cow! Some crazy demonic... That's what was in the wheelchair! Right? 
And it's got wings and all this crazy red lightning. But Dahlia still gets burnt up. Dahlia still gets burnt up in the end. Just seems like that's inevitable. So is this our boss? What am I... I can't even see. I can't see anything. It's doing a number on us, though. But I can't even see it. I don't know. I guess I'm shooting at it. I can't see it at all, but I, I think I'm shooting it. It looks like Harry's aiming at something. What? Did I just die? I wasn't even in the red. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to sit through all of that again. Actually, no. I can skip it at this point. But, yeah. So, that was only different when... Oh, I should have just continued, but... That was only different when Kaufman came in with the shot, and then we have the real final boss, it seems, which is like the actual demon thing. Although it seems like the strategy isn't going to be too much different, because we can't actually see it, and, and well, we just stand there, heal, because it's not like we can dodge the, the attacks, and then we just shoot it over and over and heal and hopefully don't die. Alright, well that was interesting, and it seems like we're making some progress. A Glophitus or whatever is what that, that liquid is called. It's good to know. Good to know. Alright, let's let's hop back in here. Luckily we can skip through cutscenes with the start button, which makes things a lot quicker. Poor Dahlia. Actually, no, not poor Dahlia. She's the one who orchestrated all this. I wonder how she used Dr. Kaufman, right? What role did Dr. Kaufman have in, have, or like what role did he have in this whole mess? Was it that he kept Alessa alive? Did he do something like that? He came up with a, like, antidote per se, right? But but that couldn't have been the only role, right? Alright, it's showtime. So we're just going to start firing away. And hope for the best. Down comes the lightning. Let's check on our health real quick. We have eight health drinks, five first aid kits, so I think we're doing okay. We got hit twice there. Okay, and we're still doing all right. So we'll just keep firing away. I think we got plenty of handgun ammo. What would happen if you didn't have any handgun ammo at this point in the game? Right, like surely you just couldn't beat it, right? I don't know, that's all I can think of. That would be rather difficult. <laughs> I wish we could see it. We should be able to live this lightning attack. Yeah, we're doing alright. And I think we're still firing at it. If we're missing, this is pretty problematic. Down comes another lightning attack, just to make sure we're in, we're in good health. Okay, we're probably in not so good health now, which is okay, because we have plenty of healing items. It looks like I'm shooting at it, hopefully. Like I said, I can't even see it. What else am I supposed to do at that point? Don't tell me I'm dead. Okay, no, we're, we're living. Keep firing away. Pretty anticlimactic boss battle if this is really what it's supposed to come down to. <laughs> so we couldn't see it for the entire battle. We were just shooting, taking damage. Yeah, Silent Hill's combat is not its strong point. But regardless, I think we've defeated the demon. Look at it. What? Did they finally fuse or something? Did they fuse again? What's going on? We defeated it, but it's still like fused with with Cheryl Lessa. Now what happens to her? Her light has kind of burnt out. And that definitely... Wait, what? Is that a baby? 
Did she just, like, give birth? Immaculate Conception? What? That looks more like Cheryl than Alessa. Actually, no. Maybe, maybe more like Alessa, but... Wait, there's a light. Did Cheryl Lessa do that? Who is this baby? Is this Cheryl? Now we run towards the light. Dr. Kaufman, wondering what the heck is going on. Lisa? What? Oh, Lisa... Lisa destroys Dr. Kaufman, yikes. Oh, I bet if Sybil's there, maybe she would shoot down Lisa, but... Lisa, caught up in her... <laughs> zombiness, takes down Dr. Kaufman. Harry running off in the raining fire with a baby that was magically sprouted from Cheryl Lessa after... She bound together with, or fused together with the dying demon on this sort of demon circle. Harry running off into the mist again. The mist of Silent Hill. Beyond the rendering zone of the PlayStation 1. <laughs> and then the credits roll, and the music sounds different again. What is that ending? What does that indicate? What am I supposed to learn about what's going on from that? What do I make of that? There's got to be some, like, major symbolism going on here. We learned a little bit more about, like, Dr. Kaufman's role, the role of this Aglophytus or whatever, and, and, you know, how she, Dahlia, manipulated us, manipulated Dr. Kaufman. The whole Cheryl, former self, Alessa thing still confused on but confirmed that there was some sort of demon that had been you know I think that's what was being like nurtured via the nightmares for over seven years and is finally like strong enough to t like possess Alessa's presumably already powerful body and then become some sort of god that would bring destruction or whatever is what it seemed like but obviously the boss fight was different and all that and, and Dr. Kaufman died at the hands of Lisa and the credit music sounds different again. I swear it's different. But the credits themselves probably won't be. So, interesting. Very interesting. Still very confused, but that was the good ending. That's if you complete the Dr. Kaufman side quest, but do not save Sybil. The next ending we talk about, or see, will be the good plus ending, which is if you complete both of those events, as I showed earlier in the video. I'm going to skip ahead through the rest of the credit sequence and watch the full house type character introduction at the end to see if there's anything different. Save and see if there's anything that happens after that save file, like the, the Harry being dead scene in the bad ending. And if not, well, then you guys will hear from me next when we start looking at the good plus ending. Oh, so there is another scene. Harry runs off with the baby. Look at the baby. Show us the baby. Is it a human baby? Is it a demon thing? We're back on the highway, potentially where the crash was. And now we have the character introductions with the music. Darn it. Okay, so that's probably all we're gonna get out of this. Now I'll probably see you guys for the good plus ending. Alright guys, it's fine. It's finally time to see that good plus ending. What happens if you save Sybil and do the Dr. Kaufman quest? Let's take a look. I was shocked to realize the talisman of Metrotron was being used. The talisman of Metrotron? In spite of the loss 
soul returning at last. Just a little longer and all would have been for naught. Hmm? Just a little longer. What is she it's talking about? Because of that man. Maybe like Alessa would have gotten out of control or something? I still don't know what the talisman of Metatron or whatever is referring to. But she but Dahlia wasn't even aware it was being used. Which is interesting, because it's like, <laughs> who was using it, right? Regardless, we've got Civil, you know, doing her little cutscene part here. Freeze! Tries to shoot. Devil's name? But magic. <laughs> okay. And then we're probably going to have this same cutscene up until the Dr. Kaufman segment, potentially. And then what'll be different is what happens after, I think. So... Where's Cheryl? What have you done to her? Probably skip ahead to Dr. Kaufman's little segment. What are you talking about? When we return to the true paradise. And My shot. Will be the mother of God. Dr. Kaufman? Dr. Kaufman, that's your cue. Uh-oh. Dr. Kaufman did not come through. So... It seems we've had our... Our fusion going on. Oh, now Dr. Kaufman comes in. Maybe I just mistimed or did misremembered the timing from before, but okay. Here he is, doing his thing. Kaufman! Did I ask for this? Nobody uses me. <laughs> Kaufman. <laughs> Sounds so full of himself. Can't get over it. You won't get away with this. This guy is going to do what I tell him. What do you think you can accomplish by coming here? My, aren't we getting cocky? Oh, we get to see the slow motion vial throw again. A glophitus. I will give Dr. Goffin credit for, you know, planting some of it somewhere else for her to find and potentially break. That's the liquid we picked up from his office. Right? He left it in his office and Dahlia must have gone there and shattered it on the ground and that's what we were able to scoop up with the bottle. Uh, but he had more of it hidden in his motorcycle. Which is pretty cool. Pretty clever. So, as arrogant, as annoying, as intolerable he may be, he is somewhat clever. Wake me up when the bottle lands, you guys. Uh, don't mind. Can I get that uh, replay for the kill cam? <laughs> it's like the game-winning kill, right? <laughs> they slow-mo have the timer and everything. <laughs> oh, that would be pretty funny. Somebody's had to... Nah, actually, I bet people haven't made that edit. <laughs> this game came out way before those shooters were around. Regardless, we're probably going to see the demon come out, then we're going to need to fight the demon. If the fight is the same, I will skip, or speed it up, so you guys don't have to watch the exact same fight, which I know last time was really exhilarating. You probably couldn't contain all of your excitement at me standing there and shooting over and over, healing when the lightning hit, and then shooting again. I know, it's pretty pretty difficult to contain your excitement at such a, such a riveting encounter, but... There's gotta be some. I, I think, I would think there's something I'm doing wrong, but maybe, maybe the game knew they couldn't have something like that floating around on screen. Like, they just couldn't render it, they couldn't handle it. So what they did is just this. Alright, in comes the lightning. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be the same, so... I'll, um, I'll probably see you guys at the end of this. Alright. Something like 80 or 90 handgun shots later, 
on our second attempt at the boss because I didn't keep track of my health well enough apparently the first time around we've defeated the boss for this good plus ending and now I think we're finally gonna get our, gonna get our chance to see it so what exactly happens Are we going to get a baby again this time? <laughs> Is Sybil going to save Dr. Kaufman? Is that going to be the big difference? We have this moment with our sort of daughter. It's raining fire again. Baby! We get the baby! And it looks like a human, from what we can see at least. Is it like a reincarnation of Cheryl? Alessa? Both? Kind of? Maybe? Either way, it's raining fire. It's it's probably like the, I don't know, destruction of like the dark reality and we run towards the light, which is running back towards the real Silent Hill. Although the bad ending showed Harry dead, is that something that's true in all of the endings, or is that unique to the bad ending? Maybe we'll find out, maybe not. Maybe the true part of it is, you know, putting it all together. But regardless, Sybil is here. She wakes up. She walks towards the light as well. This was not an option before. There was no light for her to walk to beforehand. Dr. Kaufman wakes up. Is he going to be taken down by Lisa? Oh, it looks like it. Lisa's on the hunt. How'd she get down here? But she's very eager to hug Mr. Kaufman. Sybil? Sybil, you gonna save him? Oof. Does not seem so. No salvation for he who was possibly, probably, at least somewhat complicit in the, uh, uh, well, uh, all the evil stuff going on. So here we got Harry with Baby and Sybil running off towards the light as this dark world is collapsing and maybe like separating from the real world. Cheryl Lessa is burning, unfortunately. Oh, she's reaching after them. That's so sad. So they run off into the mist of normal Silent Hill, it seems. And then we get a different song for the credits yet again. So what do I think about this ending? This was definitely the most interesting, right? We get, uh, we get Sybil you know, trying to interfere in the beginning, we get Dr. Kaufman bringing out the true bo final boss, we get the final boss fight, then afterwards we get Sybil leaving with Harry, we get Dr. Kaufman, you know, getting killed by Lisa, and they run off with this baby into the normal Silent Hill again, and, and Cheryl Lessa is left behind. It doesn't reveal a whole lot more about what's going on there, um, so I'll probably need to read up to have somebody really truly clarify that sort of thing for me. Because it makes it sound like, how could there have been a Cheryl, right, while Lessa was being, while Lessa was being, you know, kept alive in the hospital, if they are one in the same, right? It makes me think that there was some sort of, like, dissociation or splitting into, like, two different people, where, where one was, like, pseudo-alive in this hospital basement, in, basically, in the real world, but, but in every other, like, physically in the real world, but in every other aspect, stuck in this dark world, nurturing this demon that... Dahlia was planning to have possess her and destroy the world. But Alessa has some sort of power, right? There's like this womb of life. So, yeah, maybe that's what she was trying to take advantage of, like giving birth to this demon or something. Or maybe that's why we see a baby at the end, right? Like we purify her of whatever demon it is and whatever she was gonna give birth to comes out as like a normal human that Harry runs off with, right? I don't know. I don't know, it's tough. I mean, it's probably, like I said at the finale, you know, one of those things that's open to speculation. 
this seems like that sort of game, but it's really tough to say. And then of course the question is, is Harry just dead in the first place? Did he die in the car crash and this is all something going on in his head? Right? Or was that just exclusive to the bad ending? I don't know. I really don't know. This ending makes it sound like that's not the case. Like he actually did live and he fell upon a silent hill that was quickly spiraling down towards madness and darkness. And partially because Harry brought Cheryl back to Silent Hill. And, like, Cheryl fused back up with Alessa or something like that? I don't know. It seems like too much of a coincidence for that to be, like, the main, you know, plot point, right? Regardless, let's see. Oh! This is that scene! It's Sybil! And Harry with the baby from... Cheryl Alessa. And that's all we're gonna get? Just that scene? And then we have to deal with this? Credits again. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Okay, so... Well, we'll talk again later. We'll talk again later. Alright, let's see if we get another end scene at the end. Um, so you can see there's the, the good plus ending. We'll, we'll save on a different... Different slot yet again. And see if there's... If we got another little scene that comes after. Nope, just back to the main menu. And I think that's most of what we're going to get from the story standpoint. The next ending I'm going to show is a sort of bonus silly ending that can only happen in the next fear, like the new game plus of this game. So look forward to that in just a moment. Okay, so for this ending, I think we need to go to the, it's either the lighthouse or the boat. I'm going to try a little bit of both. But there's an item you can only get in the new game plus the new fear next fear called the channeling stone and and you basically have to go to different locations throughout the playthrough and use it and then you can get a special ending if you've well used it in all of the appropriate locations so i'm gonna go to the top of the lighthouse and see if i can use it here wait I don't think this is relevant to the specific Damn, ending, too late. but let's try using it here, just to be safe. What? So if we use the channeling stone, that light, <laughs> it's coming closer. I already know that I, I know the title of this ending, and I actually referred to it earlier in the video, so it's kind of spoils what these lights are. But it's UFOs with aliens. <laughs> so our channeling stone was communicating. Look at listen to these like sci-fi sound Sorry. effects. Uh... Let me ask you: Have you seen a little girl around here, short black hair? <laughs> Oh my goodness, they zap Harry, they zap Harry who's been channeling, communicating with them, and steal him aboard their ship and then just leave. <laughs> that is so funny. And then the credits. <laughs> Sort of a Star Wars-like credits, I don't know if that's intentional or not. But, listen to this music. It's all like sci-fi techie, sort of. So yeah. And it's... This is so great, I love this. The game obviously not taking itself seriously right now. If you use this channeling stone in multiple locations, you can channel and communicate with aliens who abduct you after attacking you. Um, presumably, for the rest of the game, this wouldn't mean a whole lot. We wouldn't be able to stop Alessa from doing whatever she was doing. We wouldn't be able to fall into Dahlia's trap completely. Sybil wouldn't be rescued. Dr. Kaufman wouldn't be rescued. So, this has got to be a bad end of some sorts, but... Man, is it so funny. 
It's just like you have this really serious, really intense, dark, mystical game, and then all of a sudden, you like finally use an item that you like haven't seen before that is unique to the new game plus. And what happens? Aliens show up? Aliens attack you? Aliens abduct you? And then it's just like, end of the game. And this is clearly a different Silent ending song. <laughs> I wonder if there's gonna be a post credit scene or something. I mean, I've gotta check, obviously. But, man is this funny. <laughs> and the art was so funny. The CG, not even CG, just like the, the cartoony type style. So different from the whole, like, you know, sort of grimy, dark imagery, everything up until this part of the game. Because this is also pretty close to the end of the game. So funny. Absolutely love it. Obviously, this has no... well, probably not. I mean, I can't say. I haven't looked into it, but has no weight on the actual story. Or, you know, any sort of meaning relevant to what's actually happening in the Silent Hill universe. So funny. I love it. Whoever, I wonder who was like the intern. They was like, you know, all right, guys, we got to come up with some really interesting bonus ending for the new game plus people. What what should we do? And the intern is like, hmm, you know, I got to really stand out if I want to if I want to be you know, stick around. And uh, he's like, hmm, you know what? Aliens. Let's do aliens. <laughs> and this is what happened. <laughs> and somebody approved it. And it worked. Ending. UFO. It's called the UFO ending. How funny is that? Okay, so we've made it through the credits. We'll make the new save. Is it gonna make us sit through the the cast, the full house, family interview? It's not. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, so that is all of the endings in Silent Hill. So, I'll go to the options screen so it doesn't auto-play through stuff. And that is going to be the end of my involvement with this game. I showed in this video the Sybil scene, where if you save her, or where you save her, I showed the Dr. Kaufman side quest, I showed the bad plus ending, and the good ending, and the good plus endings, and the different final boss fight, and then of course the UFO ending. <laughs> I shared my thoughts at the end of the good plus ending on, you know, what I think is going on from the large story standpoint. I'll obviously talk with you guys, read your comments, um, see what resources you guys can point me to to help clarify things. Um, some of the questions I have, is, first of all, you know, does this impact Silent Hill 2? Are they distinct games, or is this something I do need to straighten out before starting Silent Hill 2? Or is this something that will be answered in Silent Hill 2, and I shouldn't be, um, and I shouldn't be looking into ahead of time, because I might spoil stuff that I would figure out in Silent Hill 2? That is a big question I would really appreciate your help with. Um, otherwise, the endings are really good. I think it's pretty cool that they had alternate endings based on different events you can do. I don't know how we were supposed to figure out about the Dr. Kaufman side quest. I can see why this the Saving Sybil is like actually something pretty feasible that players would run into in their actual gameplay. And yeah, hoping to figure out more about Silent Hill's story, piece together a bit more by talking with you guys, looking up, reading resources and all that. But I think I've got a decent picture, but far from a concrete one and yeah this has been a really really long recording session for me sitting through that final boss the different cutscenes, the the credits afterwards the full house segment um adjusting the save files and everything uh is taking quite some time so i hope you guys appreciated it i'm definitely feeling like i've pretty much gotten all this game has to offer i don't really feel too compelled to try different difficulty modes or even really mess around with the the extra weapons that can be unlocked. I know there's like a katana at some point or a drill or something like that. But maybe if you guys are curious, you can look into that as well. But thanks again, as I said at the end of the finale, thanks again so much for your support. Thanks again for watching up until this point. I know it's a scary game. I know some of you love it. I know so many of you have supported this series despite all of the, the choppy upload schedule and everything. And it's meant a lot that you guys have stuck through. And if you made it all the way through this long video, kudos to you. And again, you know, the support, it, it goes a long way. Reading your comments, seeing that people are watching it, seeing that people are liking it, it it really makes my posit my experience that much more positive with this game. And overall, I did really enjoy my experience with Silent Hill. And I am definitely looking forward to 
the future installments in the series. I won't promise when they'll be on the channel, but Silent Hill 2 will be the next, I guess, Silent Hill series or game I play, and I do plan on playing it for the channel. I do plan on playing the original PS2 version, not the HD version, based on your guys' feedback in the earlier episode. So thank you again for that. And with that, I can call this this Let's Play complete. So until the next Let's Play of mine, whichever it may be, uh, you guys decide to watch, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.